The Detroit Lions are firing Aubrey Pleasant, and I hate it. Let's Talk Lions. Welcome back to another new episode here at Let's Talk Lions. My name is Jay. Thank you for hanging out two times in one day. The Lions have announced that they will be firing our defensive backs coach, assistant coach, Aubrey Pleasant. I hate this. I hate this move. This is the type of thing that the Lions organization is doing in order to just calm the masses. In order to, to, all the fans that are yelling with pitchforks at the moment, calling for people's jobs, they said, let's give them a scapegoat. This is a scapegoat maneuver in order to make us feel happy. Well, guess what? You didn't make me happy. I love AP. I think AP has been a great addition to this coaching staff. So firing him halfway through the season, not even yet, but almost halfway through the season is just not conducive to this team and I understand that we got blown up by Miami that Tua had a great day that Hill and Waddle had great days but guess what I think everybody in the brother knew coming into this game that Waddle and Hill were gonna rip it off firing Pleasant the secondary coach just doesn't make a lick of sense especially because Dan Campbell came out and said yes we didn't hit them in regards to Waddle and Hill we didn't hit them at the line. That was part of the game plan. We didn't disrupt. We did not disrupt. And when you let them do that and get into your defense, we didn't want to turn it into a track meet. And it was a track meet. What I just heard was the players on the field did not do their job. That this was a part of the game plan to disrupt them at the line. And the players didn't do their job. They did not execute what the coaches gave them to do. So why are we firing Pleasant? It really looks to me like they're trying to save Aaron Glenn for another week. It looks to me like the organization's trying to keep people off of AG's back by getting rid of AP. I just find this to be a move in which the organization is saying, let's shut people up. Let's get rid of somebody who is our scapegoat. Who are we sending off into the wilderness today? Yeah, we have seen Amani Oruwari a struggle this year. Like, bad. Okuda, though, on the other hand, has stepped up and has played incredibly. So it's kind of like we're, we're doing this little seesaw, this little teeter thing. So at what point are we looking and we say, well, Okuda's success doesn't come from AP, but Amani's failures do. Or Deshaun Elliott's do. I mean, golly. Parker. Parker had a terrible day. Yeah, he did. But if these guys aren't executing the game plan that you gave them, that falls on the players at that point. What a scary, scary day it is indeed. Happy Halloween once again from me to you. AP is gone. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Hope you have a rest of a great day. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. I'm not going to do the bit. It's too sad of information to do a bit.